Hey everybody, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Roger B. It's Dutch Oven 101. And uh, we've had your cards and letters coming in. We're gonna do some stuff that's a little different in the coming weeks. Today it's all about seafood. Usually seafood is one of those things that's either people love it or people hate it. So if you love the seafood, pay attention, we're gonna have some fun. I've got a cornucopia of seafood here that we're gonna steam in a Dutch oven with a little Pinot Grigio wine. We're gonna put some red onion on it, some chives, just a little bit of parsley. I've got salmon. I've got some of these really nice small lobster tails. And I'll show you how to prepare these so they don't curl up on you when you cook them. Uh, snow crab legs, Venus clams. You wanna make sure that these are good and fresh. If they're opened, throw them away. And then of course, the bigger the shrimp, the better the dish. So, when we put this together, we're gonna to put the stuff that needs to cook the most in the bottom of the Dutch oven. I've got a real nice lodge Dutch oven here, the porcelain covered as a matter of fact. And then we'll go up inside the Dutch oven for the stuff that needs to cook the least. So of course we would start with salmon in the bottom. Well, first I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut this salmon up into basically meal-sized chunks, real simple to do. That's how we cook. Okay, now I'm gonna take the shrimp next. There's not really much to do with these shrimp. They're already split down the middle. They've already been deveined, so they'll be easy to peel. So basically I'm just gonna layer them inside the Dutch oven as well. I'm gonna start with the lobster tails. Now, these can be a little tricky. Sharp object, soft hand. They don't go together well. So, I want you to be very careful about putting this inside of the length of the lobster tail. Please notice where my hand is, not where the tip is coming out. You think he stuck himself with one of those before? He has. There. Now, as you can see, it's inserted through the lobster tail. Now, that's not gonna fit in the Dutch oven. I'm gonna leave a little bit on the end to pull out because the wood just doesn't taste very good. I'm gonna cut up this crab a little bit. I have a new uh, SOG Fusion. I'm gonna show you how you can use your outdoor tools for your indoor cooking and outdoor cooking. Snow crab legs, really easy, really simple. We're not really cooking these so much as we are just heating them up. You can break them off the knuckle here if you want. I can take my little handy dandy tool here and just pop those off. I prefer to, I like it to be a little more symmetrical when you open that pot up, it's kind of pretty. There's a lot of meat in these. Don't just arbitrarily toss that away. And then of course, you've got your basic clams. We're gonna make sure those are nice and clean. This is real high tech. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit of the parsley and chives. Okay, a little more. Now, I like using a wine. You can use, you can use lemonade if you want. It doesn't really matter what you use to steam it with. If you're using a wine, the alcohol steams out of it and leaves some very complex flavors. How much do I put in? Enough in the bottom so that it will steam without soaking everything. All right, now it's ready to cook. I'm not gonna put coals on the top of this for obvious reasons. Number one, it's rounded. Number two, we don't need to. All we're doing is steaming this. So I can do this with coals, if you want to put some coals up underneath it, or I can do it on a Camp Chef stove, and then basically you steam it till the clams open. You want to make sure that salmon's done. You can peek down in there a little bit. I'll show you that when we open it back up. Are you ready for this? That is magic in a Dutch oven. Let's get some butter on there. Final touch, some lime juice. That's seafood in a Dutch oven. I'm Roger B, and that's Dutch Oven 101.